In this session, I want to talk briefly about short circuit and show you what happens when we short commonly used battery packs. Whether you are taking a robotics course or a wearable electronics course, you are certainly going to deal with electrical circuits. When we flip a switch, electrical energy flows through the circuit and make things happen. Our home appliances such as bread toaster, refrigerator, washer, dryer and television all need electrical energy to operate. Our computers and cell phones won't work without electricity. Electricity has become an integral part of our life so much we take it for granted often ignoring the fact that it can be very dangerous. To understand the phenomenon of short circuit, let's look at a simple electrical circuit consisting of a battery, switch and a bulb as shown here. You can see in this circuit current flows from the battery to the bulb and the bulb lights up. Here I have the same circuit shown in the diagram fully assembled. The bulb is lighting up because electrical current flows through the circuit from the battery through the bulb. What happens when I take another wire and connect the two battery terminals directly? By connecting the two battery terminals, I am creating a short circuit and the bulb turns off. So what happened? Why did the bulb turn off? Well, electricity takes the easiest path or the path of least resistance. When I connected the wire between the battery terminals, I created another path with almost no resistance. So electricity bypassed the intended path and took the shortest or the easiest path. That's why the bulb turned off. Since the electricity is now flowing without resistance, it can draw large current and this can cause the weakest component in its path to heat up and melt. Batteries even may explode. This is short circuit. Short circuits often happen when positive and negative terminals are connected directly. What happens if we create a short circuit? Let's go out and try it. 